I don't know about you, but I just can't get enough of this fresh, big bore Spanish two-stroke power. Something about the crackle, the pop. This is an app. This is absolutely the finest Montessa I've ever ridden. Uh, I've been riding it around up and down the driveway here and across the street for like 15 minutes, and I can't get enough of it, man. Just the power band from right off of idle right to red line, it just pulls, pulls, pulls. It feels like a, like uh, the driveway got awful short, awful quick coming over the top of this hill, and not too many vintage bikes do it do that for me. And the, the handling on this thing, the suspension's a 10. It's as good as you can possibly get on a twin shock. These are the no lean suspensions uh, shocks. They're, they're very, ex probably the most expensive shock made for a vintage motorcycle, specifically tuned for this application. The forks have the race craft springs and they're completely rebuilt. Heavy duty fork springs and seals in 20 weight oil. It just it handles awesome. This is a really, really, really super rare piece right here, guys. This is a Montessa VR. Uh, it's a re factory replica racer. Uh, this cylinder head in 1973 point and a half, they came out with this cylinder head. It's a waffle head. It's indicative that this is the VR, the racing version. Um, this one's been completely, completely restored from the bottom of the tires to the top of the bars and everything in between. It was stripped right down to the frame. The frame was painted this stunning bright white the um, frame's in absolutely mint condition, as is the swing arm. The, all the bearings are brand new. Brand new swing arm bearings, brand new steering head bearings. As I mentioned, the no lean shocks are absolutely incredible. Look at the fit and finish of the rear wheel here. Brand new rim, brand new spokes. The hub's been completely restored, freshly repainted, sandblasted. All the hardware's new on the sprocket, brand new sprocket and train. All new wheel bearings, all new brake. Everything, everything's brand new. This is as close to a factory racer as you would have gotten back in the in the in in this era in the early 70s as you could possibly get. In fact, this is probably better than the factory racers back then because it has the additional um, years of of uh, research and development in the suspension. The tires are much better. These are Michelin competition, cross competition tires, front and rear. So the rims, the, the spokes, the tires, the chain, the sprockets, the suspension has all been thoroughly upgraded on this, making it an enjoyable machine, yet still uh, a, a prime example of, of an early 70s factory level race bike. Uh, the front rim is also a brand new full circle racing rim with the uh, stainless spokes. Look at, look, zoom in on the hub, show them how clean the hub is. Everything's been, no lipstick on a pig here, folks. This is a full frame up, no expenses spared, restoration. Uh, it's absolutely stunning that the forks work phenomenal. The brakes work phenomenal because, the, well, the, fork, the brakes are brand new, um, as is the front tire, rim, spokes. The original front forks are rebuilt. Uh, it's got a new front fender. If, zoom in on the front fender, show them the Montessa embossed front fender. A little bit of pollen on it, that's about it because it's a nice spring day here. The original uh, mount for the uh, front fender has been restored and repainted. New front number plate, new set of bars, new Terry cable, clutch cable, throttle cable, front brake cable, new period correct grips with the, the wide bars, high rise bars. The Montessa tank is really a work of art on this bike. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, take a close look at this. You can see it's got the Montessa embossed uh, gas cap uh, made in Spain, beautifully refinished. The inside of the tank is as nice as the outside of the tank, as you'd expect of a restoration of this quality. Um, the fit and finish on everything on this bike is, is good or better than new. The seat is the uh, brand new Montessa logo on the back, a brand new seat cover, new seat foam. New side covers, new Montessa, rear fender, all new hardware everywhere you look. This, my good fellas, is a no expense spared restoration. The side covers are new, the graphic, uh, the white graphics on the side covers are new uh, on both sides. Um, the, the fit and finish of the bike is just absolutely spectacular. You can see the yellow uh, safety paint to show where the Master link has been properly installed. It's brand new chain, brand new counter shaft sprocket, uh, new carburetor, new air filter, new intake boots, uh, new piss. The engine's been completely rebuilt. Guys, I probably should have started with the best secret this bike has, but I'll finish with it. This is not a 360. This, well, Starter Life is a 360. It's been bored. It's a big bore 414. They, they replaced this engine the original 360 was up uh, bored out to 414 in the later years in the later 70s so this has the new 414 piston in it it's the stock 
engine with the 414 big bore brand new piston brand new rings brand new top end bearing brand new piston clip brand new uh top end uh bearings brand new low end bearings the crank's been rebuilt all new crank seals new shifter seals new counter shaft seals uh everything's new on the motor it's got Maybe, maybe a few hours ride time on it tops. Um, you can see it was not only mechanically rebuilt, but cosmetically. Uh, it has a new, uh, it's been completely refinished and repainted. It has a new coil with a new uh, NGK spark plug and a new spark plug cap. Everything's new on the bike, guys. That The first time I started it, you usually think, oh, big board, it's gonna be hard to start. Started first kick for me and, and ran beautifully, indicative of a bike that's well-tuned with uh, a perfectly adjusted Bing 54 carb. Just an absolute joy joy to ride this thing. Um, if you look at the, can you show them the bottom of the, of the exhaust pipe? Please, Jordan, you can see the exhaust pipe is brand new. Uh, there's no, I don't see a single dent or ding anywhere on there. Uh, the frame rails are perfect. Usually the, the pipes are all caved in. This is a brand new pipe, guys. Um, and it sounds absolutely freaking amazing. And it runs absolutely freaking amazing um, I really enjoyed riding this bike this is a bike I would take to Daytona and run in the vintage Supercross I take it to Unadilla if you're looking for a, a very competitive completely restored bike to either race and or display in your private collection or if you're looking for an investment quality bike look no further your chip your ship just came in go ahead and check on Mecham uh, what the auction results are for these uh, they're bringing well north of 10,000 I didn't see one that sold for under 10,000 that was anywhere in this in this uh, uh, condition, and many that were selling in the 13, 14 thousand and more range. Um, they're very rare to find in this kind of shape. And if you were to take one, a barn fresh one, and do a frame off restoration like this, you can plan on spending about 100 to 120 hours labor, uh, plus thousands in parts, and uh, a whole bunch of your time. So if you pay a shop to do it. You're going to have a hefty restoration built. This one's done. It's always better to buy them done than try to do one yourself. Even the finish, the low finish on the lower forks, um, it's got a metallic finish on it. The, the chrome uppers are in good condition. Just a, just a kick-ass piece. I can't say enough good about this one, guys. It's, it's been a joy to ride this. It's going up for sale. You'll see it on our eBay page uh, next week. Um, also, the, the pegs were upgraded to a more modern, much larger peg. The, the chrome kicker is brand new looking as the rear brake looks brand new. The engine cases are real nice. There's no evidence of the chain ever coming off and damaging the crankcase or anything. Just a really fine example. Uh, it's got the new chain adjuster, new chain guides. Um, all the hardware is new on the sprocket and everywhere else. It's a no excuses machine. If you have any questions about it, give us a call 860-454-7024 ship this anywhere in the country and we do offer financing on classics so thanks for watching and god bless america you know how to it starts like a first kick every time that, that's a sign of a finely tuned bike with a brand new ignition brand new top end everything's new like a, better than it was new Thank <laughs> you.